welcome back. This is what you saw in the last episode. Bit of water to me, so I can cook this night. You saw me struggling with starting my dream, traveling the Pamir Highway. I'm so happy. <laughs> I hope there's something for me, but. Pamir? Today I hiked 28 kilometers. I left Kyrgyzstan and slept in a nomad's land. Good night. Well, good morning. Hello. Um, <laughs> living in a tent is not as romantic as you think. Especially when you don't have any... Or I have one bottle of water, but I really need to save it for drinking, so... I couldn't read my, uh, brush my teeth. I can, but then, uh, yeah, I can actually. Uh, I cannot clean my cups, so <laughs> I use my finger. <laughs> mm. It's really basic, all. Yeah. But hey, when you see water, <sighs> oh, that's great. That's great. Or I could also take more water with me. You're right. Absolutely right. Today I'm gonna hike into Tajikistan and. Look at that one. Wow. Wow. So for the worst case nightmare, I took water from the river. It's not clean at all, but I'm actually not sure if my filter can filter that, but at least I can try if I didn't have any real good water anymore. But I know it's on the top, around 10 kilometers from here, it's clean water. Because the cyclist told me I'm gonna leave this valley. The wild mo white mountain is so beautiful. I stopped actually watching behind me because there are no cars. <laughs> Today I just saw two people, a farmer and one cyclist. That's it till now. Let's go. I found water. Clean water that I can filter and then drink it. And I found something else. It is there. And over here, it's ice. So, guess how cold it is getting here. Still climbing up. And I think one and a half hour to the border with Chachikistan. And then going down a bit and then walking flat. But I must say, in the wind, it is getting cold. Let's go with my beast. Oh. <laughs> There, it's all ice on the top. Each step that I make is getting more beautiful. Well, when I was enjoying this beautiful view, I mean the mountains behind me, a car drove by. Okay. Alright. Do you mind? Can I film you? Yeah, sure. Hi, yeah, guys. Good, Alex. Hey. I really, my legs appreciated this so much. <laughs> Since Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan are still in war, people from Kyrgyzstan are not allowed to come close to the border. So the car stopped and we needed to wait for a car from Tajikistan to pick us up and bring us to the border. At 4,300 meters high, I've reached the highest border crossing I've ever done. So fast can it go. This morning I woke up 28 kilometers from Sagitash and now I can announce you welcome in Tajikistan. Oh my god. Uh, I'm now in Karakul and this is so 
freaking beautiful. It is so freaking beautiful. I will find here uh, a homestay and then yeah, go around in uh, this really small village. What is way too beautiful. Welcome in the highest village of the Pamir Highway. At 3,900 meters is Karakun. Karakun is a small village where 600 people are living. And those 600 people are living in extreme conditions. In which time it can reach minus 60 Celsius degrees. And it is known for its Hola. big lake in front of it. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. It's always really heartwarming when I walk by and children are running to the window. Hey, tourist, tourist! Hello, hello, hello! Assalamu alaikum. It's like, wow, wow. They are very eager to learn. That's really cool. Karakul is the first village you will visit, or I visit now, um, after crossing the border from Kyrgyzstan to Tajikistan. And <laughs> those people are living on 3,900 meters high and their garden is this surrounded by all high mountains 6,000 5,000 what the heck but outside that I'm imagining how life is here because they are all farmers or a lot of them are farmers everywhere walk was like animals and uh, stuff you needed for having an animal <laughs> food <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know I don't really do not get emotional get emotional pretty fast but it's so damn beautiful and it's so weird to walk here and I really want to try next couple of weeks understanding how those people live I really know it about Kyrgyzstan I was there for two months and now I'm sitting to a I think a dead goat or sheep over there uh, and some other animal stuff on the ground there is no running water or electricity in Kahakul. So they are using small solar panels and they are pumping the water out of the ground. Small children making money to bring the water to the older people. This is crazy. This is crazy. My ride was... I don't know if it was right or wrong, but I paid 38 euro for a night of sleeping, dinner, breakfast and a chai. With this right now? I paid nine euro. Oh, my God. Oh, I don't know where to begin. It's, it's so freaking beautiful. It's so freaking beautiful. And the people are so amazing. The people in Karakul told me that they want to be a part of Kyrgyzstan. The time zone is also on the Kyrgyz time and not on the Tajik time. Actually, the border between Tajikistan and Kyrgyzstan is closed, what makes it for this side of the road impossible to go to their family or friends. As the children would say over here, Hello! <laughs> Hello! New day! I got some breath and now I'm on my way again. Uh, and it's great because I met a lot of people Oh, we're going with the car to Murgab, where I'm walking to actually. I really want to go up to the mountain, so maybe I will not take the car and go up or whatever. I slept not good because it's getting uh, higher and higher, and so getting a 
good sleep is getting harder. Oh, that's good. I lost my breath. <sighs> it's on the back of my backpack, just swinging around, and it just slipped up. <laughs> so, but uh, unfortunately, I don't know where it is. I think I walked like now three or four kilometers, and I will not walk it back. So. Some nice gift to Mother Nature or whatever. <laughs> Poor me. <laughs> because the bread is really good, it fills my stomach for the whole day, so that's great. But okay. This boy got a ride. Oh, oh nice. And I want to climb up that mountain. <laughs> great to have a short ride. It was a short ride and he, I asked him how much money can I give you? He did say nothing, my friend, nothing. <gasps> oh my God, wow. Oh, and now putting on my baby. <laughs> that is always like a challenge. <laughs> okay. I'm climbing a mountain and it's not easy. I'm going up to four, now 5,085. Never been so high. And I'm now at 4,200, but as you can see, oh, <coughs> with, with my backpack. And over there you see the road. And in the time that I'm walking here, it's like now almost an hour and no car. <laughs> or no car in the direction I want to go. But okay, it doesn't matter because I'm here. I left uh, my baby somewhere there. I was like, oh. So tough. So I thought <laughs> there's nobody here. I can safely uh, leave it there. Walk up and then walk down again. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, but her air is less. I am now 4,400 meter. Never been so high. Top is somewhere there. But I don't know if I go there because. Oh my god. Oh my god. But this is not up top. With a few points. Wow. Sorry. Or actually, not sorry. I made it to the top where I think it's a wow. <laughs> Ah, and now let's check how high I am. I'm here also a bit high. My <laughs> 4,516 meters. So not the highest I will get on the Pamir Highway because one road is worth 4,600. <laughs> but this is amazing. This is amazing. Wow, I'm proud of myself. Welcome on the moon. Let's go to the road and hitchhike. Walk <laughs> and hitchhike. I'm almost at the road and there are coming two trucks. Two chances of a hitchhike. And I think they're from the army. So I hope they would help me. That would be amazing. What the timing. Oh, I don't think they have plays. No, they don't have plays, it's full. Ah, oh, damn, fuck. They could leave me in the back. But...
there's a car coming. And there is a car coming. Ooh. Oh, nice. I know who it is. It's my host. It's my host. This is 4,600 meters, right? Yes. Free. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's the highest. Germany. It's the highest place of the Pamir Highway. Hi. Like on the road. Yeah. Well, that was actually a hell of a ride. Like it's freaking long. The way was so bad, but so beautiful. And now I hope that place over here. Well, again, still a bit of hiking. Hiking to the viewpoint close by Karakul. And on the main road, I needed to hike as well a long time before I get a ride. I paid this driver actually. Now I'm in Burkop and more about that in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. A big hug from me. Paka. Bye bye. Ciao ciao.